Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So, guys, we want to bring you a message that we got from the Galactics. And the Galactics are, it's, it's really a, a big group when you get down to it. It's, it's the Pleiadians, but also Octorians, the Andromedans, uh, some Syrians. There, there's so many different groups involved. It, it truly is. Um, well, you know, perhaps a, a more pure and better version of what, uh, you know, the UN is such a poor version of, you know, unity, true unity, uh, trying to fight against evil, uh, which is rampant, not just in this world, but, you know, all over. It, it is. And, you know, there's forces working against us that are hyper aware of the changes that come through the sun and the changes that are made in our body and when these changes come they know how to manipulate things so to keep us under under their thumb and this is this is uh what they're doing right now and it's really nasty but i do believe the most important thing is awareness awareness of of what they're doing yeah, we've, we've talked about the sun. It's really obvious the sun is not the same. The sun is very, very changed from what it was, you know, 20, 30 years ago. Uh, it definitely has a more whitish and even a bluish tinge to it. And it's interesting, too, because I, I really liked science. I did really enjoy science. It was second just to history to me in school um, when I was growing up and as a kid. And, you know, like the life cycle of stars, when you look at it now, it's it's different than it was back when I was growing up. And I think everything has just gotten more and more covered up uh, as time has gone on. But yet, at the same time, we are making discoveries. Now, the sun is definitely a transmitter of information. And so recently we had a, a small CME come and impact our area, you know, and the CMEs for one, they're going to be a major player in these times. And when the bigger ones come because of the magnetosphere weakening, we'll be losing the grid um, for periods of time, perhaps very prolonged periods of time. And then eventually when the big one comes, it'll be in some ways back to the Stone Age, time to start over. But at the same time, it might be our saving grace because it will fry the technology that's being used to control us. But the other aspect of this is when we're getting these blasts, they're bringing us information. They're bringing us DNA upgrades, and they're changing us. And it was hitting me, too, with the social distancing uh, that's going on. Part of it is that they might not want us to be picking up the thoughts of each other as we get closer to each other. They're going to do whatever they can to try to circumvent the changes that are coming naturally and part of the bigger plan of the ultimate creator um, of all things to to rise us up out of this dark age and into a new age of unity and enlightenment and so right now you'll you'll see that many people are getting triggered uh, because this last wave of energy that came through is heightening everybody's abilities it's making us all um, you know, a little bit more able to, yeah, yeah, increasing the sensitivity. Yeah, it's increasing our sensitivities to everything. And it's it's difficult to go through life with all of these stresses and traumas. And the, the controllers, they're, they're really aware of this. Um, I, and right now is a really important time to... Uh, work through your issues, but work through them gently. Uh, give yourself a break. Don't go hard. Don't get hard on yourself. If if things aren't going right, learn to let go. Learn to detach. Learn to walk away. Um, because they are using our traumas and our society, um, all the things that have happened through us to us through our lives to control us. Exactly. And we have talked about how, when you look at the stars out there, it, it's a gigantic cosmic web. And it's the same thing, and again, as above, so below, that we see when we look inside the human brain. This neural network, 
So our star is receiving information through a network exchange with many, many other stars. And ultimately, you know, this is all truly coming from source. Uh, and this is a time of change. And the sun is doing its job. It's bringing the energies to us. It, light is information. And so the information from the sun is changing us, changing our DNA, mutating it. When we've talked about in the past the whole Tower of Babel incident and the fall of man, because we don't recognize really what we are, which is we are source. Source is inside every single one of us. So, you know, like I was saying to Cindy, uh, she might have been born in a certain year, but ultimately she's eternal. The, the consciousness part is eternal. And we're just having an experience in a human vehicle right now. But we're here also, many of us are here with the intent and purpose of changing this system because it's been corrupted. And so then we have the other characters who are doing their best, uh, you know, to stop this flow of information. And, you know, these guys right now are doing a full frontal assault. So they're, they're playing with us. They're playing with our energies and our intent. And it, it really, sometimes it boggles the mind how we keep getting divided into these camps. And, you know, you'll have the left blaming the right, the right blaming the left. And people sometimes lose in their ability to see the bigger picture. So, you know, there's been so many dramas that have been created to give us a little bit of truth, but then lead us astray. You know, and that's one of the techniques that they use. They give you a little truth, a little inside info. They get you to trust them, and then they lead you down the wrong trail, taking you farther and farther away from the, the real underlying truth and into a position where you can be manipulated and you know man be manipulated uh, to go against other light workers, other star seeds, other people that really all want the, the best for humanity, the best for the planet, and everything that lives on the planet. So these beings are masters at creating division. They're masters of manipulation. And so they are manipulating things to a much higher degree right now. They're taking advantage of the energy that's coming in that would be doing something that's positive, and they're twisting it. So they use the usual techniques, as we've talked about. You know, How do you get humans to go along with their agenda when it's against humanity you know and what they do is they appeal to the ego in all different ways and when you appeal to the ego um you know it, it's not always going to have the best interest of all in mind and so you know there are humans that unfortunately would betray their own kind to for their own betterment betterment more of what I'm getting, it's not necessarily is it that humans want, want to betray their own kind, but the Draco are using that energy of the traumas to go through people, to get people um, against each other. And this is one of the games that they play, and they're extremely good at it. So going within, learning about who you are, working in the light as much as possible, um, questioning your motives, you know, but at the same time, go easy on yourself because this is like a peak of energy. It's like peaking right now. It's going to settle down a little bit. But the whole trick is, is to not get triggered while we're at a peak. And, you know, things might be going up another notch over the like the next upcoming week or so. So we see there's a lot of things going on in this world right now. Um, if we look at, you know, the wildfire situation, for instance, and we have what might be two hurricanes going to be impacting in the Gulf. Um, obviously, we have a lot to contend with there. So let's use our intent and I'll ask everybody right now just to take a few moments to visualize rain coming down all across the western U.S. and putting out those forest fires. And then let's also put, bring a little wind shear in to the Gulf so that these two systems 
uh, will not develop or be able to be manipulated into developing into something that wouldn't naturally occur. And, you know, basically add to all the flooding situation that we've seen. So let's use our intent and our will to counteract what is being done through technology as well as the manipulation of people's intent from these darker entities. And let's not let them keep us at each other's throats because what they do want to do is create, um, you know, internal strife, wars. This is, this is how they operate. And it's so disappointing to see people still in this left-right paradigm and not recognize that there's puppet masters that are controlling the whole thing. And if we're in this left-right paradigm, we're just missing the whole big picture. And, um, you know, I, I, I read a couple comments today from some people that I do like, and I don't mean you guys out there, I, I mean other people um, that are well known and I was really just surprised by the fact that they don't seem to be getting it and you know just falling straight into this left right paradigm and just pointing a finger at all the usual things with you know blaming the liberals for everything blaming the conservatives for everything and not recognizing that it's outside forces that are manipulating the whole thing this is where we have to take a step back use a little bit of that Buddhist detachment so that we're not drawn into this uh, because that's exactly what they want us to do. And let's use the power of our intent to manifest some positive changes like some rain to put out these fires over here in the West. See a cool front coming down and uh, letting things settle down and cool off as well as besides the fires also the heads <laughs> a lot of people need to cool off right now because they are being manipulated to the point of um, horrible actions in so many cases mm -hmm. and there might be some things in your life um, that you may need to energetically detach from for for a little while until you can get these things smoothed over um, so our contentment, our peace in our minds is, is very important right now. When we put the love and the intent out there to see rain going across the West and to see healing come to the planet, when we do that and our mind is at peace, it's that much more powerful. And this is one of the things that they're aware of. They're aware of our intent and the state of mind that we need to be in to have that intent be maximized so they want to cause as much strife as possible don't let that happen yeah we need to be focused on the right things in this time and that is again while all these things are going on you know they're trying to put in all sorts of laws to take away our rights to determine what we want in our lives and so recognize that, speak up there, and recognize the manipulation that's coming from these very, very powerful entities out there, these very, very powerful corporations and families and lobbies, and recognize that, you know, both parties are completely at the top levels bought and paid for. So the whole system, it's not going to be tweaked. The system has to go. The whole system must change, and it will change. Uh, it's not going to be just like a little tweak here or there. We have to really change everything ourselves. The whole way we do things, the whole way we view things. We have to move from being a solar plexus dominated culture and civilization to a heart centered one. And so get out of that, you know, I am me, 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 me. And get into that us, us, we point of view. You know, one way to get out of your head is um, help someone, you know, help them to the best of your ability, whether it be energetically or physically. Um, just try to kind of get out of your head. You know, that's everybody. Well, people do enjoy being part of something that's bigger than themselves. Um, and if you just stop and look around, I'm sure all of us could find that that thing bigger than ourselves that we could focus on to help smooth out any of the, of the chaos going on in our heart. 
So guys, I want to thank you as always for your support on both Patreon and also on Ko-Fi. You keep us going. As always, be prepared and work on yourselves, work on your heart, work on your connection to source and work out, work, work on each other, you know, reach out to each other and don't let the hatred and the violence, don't let the dark energies grab hold of you. God bless and namaste. Namaste.